Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to create this really cool double exposure that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. But before we're gonna do that, make sure to subscribe and comment and leave a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's jump to Photoshop. And as you can see, I already have uh, the image that we'll be using. And by the way, for this uh, double exposure to work, or all the double exposures, you need to have a, a very clear separation between the background and the subject. So that's the key to make a really nice double exposure. Alright, for example, this image, it will work perfectly as a double exposure because you can see a clear separation between the sky which is the background and the subject which is the model also for the other image that we'll use as a double exposure is this branches of the tree and as you can see there is a clear separation between the branches and the background all right so i'm just gonna take it and drag it to the other tab all right now i'm gonna press ctrl command t and that will make it smaller somewhere around here so the idea is to actually place the branches to follow the, the trees just like that and also I want the branches to go in here in the head into like the arm area in here so let's actually try to do that so I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller Maybe I will drop down the opacity to see exactly what I want it to do. So basically I want the effects or the double exposure to start from the arm. And then go, that's right here to end with the, with the trees. Alright, some, somewhere, somewhere around this area in here. Alright, so now let's see about the face. Maybe I will let all the branches to go outside flowing from the face which is which will look really neat so let's see what we're gonna do in here i think i think i will be okay to have something like this in here maybe i will just drag it a little bit down to this area in here and make it a little bit smaller all right i think i think somewhere around here it will look interesting all right now now that i know what which parts i want to be shown i can go ahead and actually make this 100 percent and let's name these branches and let's change it to lighting or screen let's see i think lighting will blend better All right, something like that i think it looks really nice and i can go ahead and press ctrl command t and change this position if i want all right so i will keep it like this and let's see what we will do next all right so i want to blend this white uh, background that we have now i want it to blend a little bit better with the sky and to do that we can apply a level adjustment so i will go to my adjustment icon and choose levels and then i will clip it to the branches layer by one click on this icon all right next because i want only to uh, manipulate or actually target the white area i will go directly to the white point and i will move it to the left a little bit just like that and as you can see how it blend perfectly with the sky and that's what we want i also like this kind of a ghost silhouette that we have in here all right i think this is looking really nice maybe you can play with the with the mid-tones if you want so for me i think i like it like this it's blend amazing with the rest of the image all right now i want to delete a little bit of this in here you can see clearly it's like a, a box 
and I don't want that. So to do that, I will go to the branches layer and I will create a line mask like that. And then I'm gonna hit B to open the brushes. And while I have in black as my foreground color, I will go and I will start delete these parts, some of them, just to blend everything a little bit better with the, with the image. And maybe this part too. All right, I think it looks more interesting like that. For example, this one definitely needs to be blended a little bit better. And this part in here. I have a soft brush to blend everything together nicely. And maybe a little bit in this part. Yeah. But to have that harsh edge in here. Yeah, maybe like that. I think it looks a little bit better. All right. I think it looks good. Now, the other thing that I want to do is actually to make the branches look like it's going outside of the body. And to do that is uh, fairly simple to do. All uh, I have to do is actually to make a copy of the branches layer by pressing Alt or Option. I will drag while I'm pressing Alt or Option and put it on top. And this will create a copy of the branches. And let's actually delete this layer mask. And then I will change the blending mode from lighten to darken. And as you can see, now we have the branches appeared in here. And that's what we want. So I want to make this appear and all of this in here. All right, to do that, I will apply a black layer mask by pressing Alt or Option on my keyboard and one click on this layer mask icon. And then I will hit B for the brushes. And while I'm using this time white as my foreground color, I will start revealing all these branches that I want to be revealed in here. This one too, all of this. And a little bit in here. So it looks actually really neat like that. And I know that there is a branch in here that I want to reveal. Yeah, this one it looks very nice. Maybe not this one. I will delete this part in here. All right, I think it looks really cool. As you can see, we have a really nice double exposure. This is actually blend very good with everything else. Now, the only thing that I want to do is actually to blend it a little bit better with the image. And of course, you can add bird or whatever you want. But for me, I will keep it this simple. So the only thing I want to do is to add a, a solid color. So we'll go and choose solid color. And I'm gonna go for something a little bit bluish like this. All right, and I will change the blending mode to exclusion. And then I will drop down the opacity quite a bit around 14 or 12 percent. And as you can see, it will give it this really nice vintage look to the whole image. All right, so the next one that I want to add is a gradient map. So I will go to gradient map in here. And I will change the gradient, for example, this black print, I will change it to a cyan color, maybe a little bit darker, something like that. And the white point, I will change it to an orangey brownish color, something. So it's here. All right, and I will press OK. So a double tone gradient. And I will change the blending mode of it to soft light. And again, I will drop the opacity quite a bit, like 20%. Now, I think it looks really nice. One other thing that uh, you can do if you want is to add a little bit of noise to the whole image. There are many ways to do that, but uh, there is a very simple one by creating a new layer. And then I will fill this with a 50% gray by pressing Shift F5 on my keyboard. And then here you can change the content to 50% gray and press OK. And then I will go to Filter, Pixelate, and I will choose Pontilized. Next, I will uh, change the cell size to 3. This is the lowest number that you can do. And I will press OK. Next, 
I'm gonna desaturate this by pressing Ctrl Shift or Command Shift U and this will desaturate it. This will turn it to black and white. Now I want to apply a little bit of blur on this before changing the blending mode. So I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I will keep blur between 0.5 to 1 pixel. This depends on the resolution of your image. For this I would keep it 1 pixel and I will press OK. Now I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And let's zoom in and see. As you can see, it's a little bit harsh. So I'm just going to drop down the opacity a little bit. Around 30%. And there we go. We have our effect. This is before. And this is after. Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this uh, quick tutorial. And it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.